What's up, boys and girls? It is White Gamer. Today, we have a match-rated winger builder you can use in EAFC 24 clubs. This works well for old gen and new gen. So, for your position, you're either going to go with left winger or right winger, whichever side you prefer. Height, we're going with 5'10". Your weight, we're going with 121 pounds. Now, for your running style, guys, there's two options. You can go with the T-Rex. This has your wrist facing down. It makes your guy feel agile when you're running with the ball. You can also go with the turtle. This is the Mbappe one. Um, we're going to go with T-Rex. This one was very popular last year. Again, guys, running styles are just personal preferences. You can go with whichever one you want, but we're going to go with the T-Rex. Now we have the play styles. We're going to start off with the play style plus. The first one I recommend is the finesse shot plus, everyone. As the winger, you're going to be cutting in and shooting it. And the finesse shot plus this year, this one is completely broken. It's OP. It's very, very good. has a lot of curve and accuracy, which makes it difficult for opponents, keepers, or AIs to even save it. The next one, guys, there's two options you can go with. You can go either go with the Rapid Plus, which this one's really good because as you're sprinting with the ball, your pro won't take those heavy touches forward as you're sprinting with the ball. Another one you can go with is the Quick Stat Plus. It should allow your guy to accelerate quicker. So either or works fine. We're going to go with the Rapid because since you are going to be on the wings a lot and with the ball, you don't want your pro to be taking heavy touches as you're running with the ball. Now, for the regular play styles, the first one we're going to go with is the Long Ball Pass. This is really good to chip the ball forward to your teammates or switch it to the opposite wing or just find teammates that are really far. And this one's a very, very good one. The next one is the whip pass. This will allow for the crosses to come out with accuracy. It will allow the ball to travel fast and it will have curves. So if you're that type of winger that crosses in here and there, or if you're one of those wingers that spam crosses, this one's really good, the whip pass. Next, we have is the technical. This will allow for your pro to reach higher speed when you're performing the control sprint. You do that with RB, that RB dribbling that a lot of people have been doing this year. It's a very good one. You could also have gone with the technical plus as well, but the regular version works well. The next one we're going with is press proven. When you're jogging at speed with the ball, it will be very close to your feet, and also when you're shielding the ball, it's going to make it difficult for opponents to knock you off. You know, as a winger, you're going to be in the wing. Sometimes you're going to skill, but you need to protect the ball at the same time. So this play style will allow for you to protect the ball and make it difficult for opponents to knock you off that ball. Next, we have is the quick step. Just allow your pro to accelerate quicker. It lasts about four seconds. It's a good play style. This pretty much is one of the most popular play styles for every build this year, I believe. And then second, and then last but not least, everyone, you have two options. You have two options for your last one. You can go with Travella to do the outside of the foot shot for shooting or passing, or you can go with a Relentless, guys. I recommend you guys going with Relentless because the Relentless is going to allow for your pro to recover at halftime. So your stamina bar won't be that low come halftime, and it's very good especially since you're going to be doing a lot of running as a winger. So I highly recommend you guys to use the Relentless. But these are the regular play styles and the play style plus that we went with. Now we have the skill tree again, guys. This works well for old gen and new gen. So you're going to get these two acceleration. You're going to get the sprint speed, and then you're going to get the cheetah archetype. This will give you 87 acceleration and 95 sprint speed. This should be more than enough to outpace your defenders. Defenders aren't even this fast. So go with a pace like this. Plus, we're going to need it if we want to get the max rated winger build. Next, we're going to go with some finishing. You can get the weak foot, and then you can get the finisher archetype. As a winger, guys, you do want to have some finishing because sometimes your teammates are going to be covered. They're not going to be open. So you want to be able to shoot from inside the box. This will give you 88 finishing, and you have the four-star weak foot. It sucks that we won't be able to get the five-star weak foot because I said in previous winger builds, it's good to have the five-star weak foot. But you can get away with the four-star weak foot and shoot it on your weak foot from time to time. The only thing that sucks from the shooting here, besides the weak foot, is the shot power. 90, 71 shot power is low, but for the most part, this will be more than enough, especially since you have the finesse shot plus. Now, for the passing, you're going to get the artist archetype. You're going to get these three short passing, this vision, this vision, and then the architect archetype. So this will give you 86 vision, guys. That's going to determine how accurate the passes come, whether it's a short pass, long pass, 91 crossing guys yep you have 91 crossing so those crosses are going to become very very accurate from wherever you cross it inside the box the long pass is 77 guys trust me that's more than enough remember you have the long ball pass play style which when you go for those balls in the air it's gonna be accurate 
and then you have the 93 short passing with the 89 curve the curve is very important not only for passing but as well when you're when you're doing a finesse shot the curve is very important for that so this is how you want the passing to look like now for dribbling guys you're gonna get the maestro archetype get that four star skill moves then for this right side we're gonna focus on the links you want it just like this now this will give you 88 agility 87 balance that's some really good balance again you have that press proven play style which will make it difficult for opponents to knock you off the ball especially this year with the shoulder challenge being really really good for defenders it's good to have balance then you have the 96 ball control with 98 dribbling and you do have the four star skill moves i know some of you guys wanted a five star skill moves but four star skill moves will be more than enough for 99 percent of the people last but not least we got the physical you're gonna get the reactions make sure it says two out of two for this left side guys the reactions make sure it says two out of two for this right side you're gonna get some jumping reactions again reactions again so make sure the reactions is two out of two so this will give you 74 jumping so you will be able to win some headers out wide in the wing which is good 88 stamina which is very good you do want to have some stamina as a winger remember you also have the relentless play style if you went with that one which will help the stamina reduce a bit slower and so you're going to run a lot it is important to have stamina as a winger then you have the 96 reaction guys reactions is very very important it's going to allow for a pro to react to the ball quicker and as you're making contact it'll be just much quicker we back out ladies and gentlemen you're going to be a 92 rated winger 72 physical 91 pace 79 shooting 88 passing and 95 dribbling this is the max rated winger build you can use this here in eafc 24 clubs make sure you guys drop a like comment below your opinions on this build and subscribe if you're new to the channel and i'll catch you guys next time